Welcome back to GitHub with Git series and in this series you will learn about Git and GitHub with me Sarthak on this channel called Bitfume. So if you are new, consider subscribing for more advanced features like Laravel, Vue and much more. So let's get started and in this episode we are going to learn about how we can get a repository and what is repository? Uh, think about just a place where you can deposit every information about your project okay so let's see how we can do all these things so I will call Jarvis to turn the page okay and here it is and now how we can start so in the last episode we have installed the git in our machine and now we have to initialize git so I will go to my finder and here you can see I have this empty folder called git I will open terminal here and here I will say git in it wow git in it git in it let's see hit enter git in it git in it and it says initialized empty git repository and as I have told you we have created our repository so let's see what we have actually if I go inside here we can see we have a folder called dot git okay and this will have every information about your project every commit every changes everything so how we can use this so let's see the next is create new subsidiary called git we have created this now let's create a new file so I will say touch uh, I will say readme.txt so we have created this now cat readme.txt so I think instead of doing all these things via this terminal I will show you via this because Windows user cannot do all these touch and cat so it's simply I have created a text file called readme.txt and if I open this and I can make changes here so I will say this is new file and I save it and close it and now let's see what next we have to add but before adding let's see git is status so it says untracked file Remember untracked file means git does not know about this file. So we have to firstly tell git that yeah this is a new file and you have to move this inside a staging area. So I will say git and you can see the command is git add. So git add readme.txt. So it's doing nothing but when I now hit git status it says changes to be committed so we have new file which is now in the knowledge of git and now if I do commit it will now go into commit so I will say git commit and with the m flag I can give the message so you can see with the m flag we can give the message so uh, committed readme file hit enter and now this time you can see it says various things so it says file one changed inserted one and this is the readme and create mode that means it has created this file and now this is actually the master and we will talk about the uh, branches and all stuffs of git in the later episode but don't worry about all these things but now when I hit git status you can see it says nothing to commit working tree is clean because we have not changed anything after our commit so let's make new change and I will just change this file this is a new file and I have changed it save once more and when I now hit git status it's not saying untracked file like before because git know about readme.txt it just get modified okay so again we can say git add readme but what if you have lots of file then obviously you are not going to give each and every name so here you can say asterisk dot 
txt or even if you don't want to give this type of thing just say git add and dot then hit enter it will add every file in your folder so now status and modified again this time it says modified and the last time we have committed it says new file and this is the difference so this is the modified file this is the new file untracked file so again if I say git status it say this and now if I say once more commit and committed readme file once again and again it says same the master branch and one file change two insertion so one deletion and that means it's inserted that file okay and now we can track everything so I will say git log so in that case you can see it's having all these commit commits so you can see I have talked to you about the SHA the security feature the checksum so here is the checksum so this checksum is for particular commit and it's by author it's committed the flag I have given to the commit that means the commit uh, name or the, some something you can say details so these this is the first and this is the second and important thing is that git is showing your commits with the latest one first so you can see this is the first one once again and obviously this is very useful because uh, you just need one or three one or two or three last commits you don't need uh, commit month before or week before so I will call Jarvis to turn this page so let's see what the next we can see so here is the cloning system so here we have created our repository from scratch but what if you want to clone any project from repository so what I will do I will go to github slash bitfumes and you can see if I go to let's say socialite and I will just say this one this link I will copy so I will say git clone and the whole path of that file then hint enter and you can see it says cloning socialite that means it's downloading each and everything related to that repository in my file in my folder so if I open this you can see the whole socialite project is here so now if I say get status so it says socialite new added file untracked file even it's not a file it's a folder so the whole folder is not in the knowledge of git so again we can do all that stuffs commits every and everything so this is git and all these starting of the git so we will meet in the next episode so i will call jarvis to turn the page once more and if you have a doubt, you can message me on anywhere, comment me and don't forget to like on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, support me on patreon.com and don't forget to subscribe and like on YouTube. So we will meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.